And this is the first video we've ever made. I'll introduce ourselves. My name is Sasha, and me and my colleague Jill, we're both Erasmus students from Belgium, and we get the chance to, to do our Erasmus here in Seville. Today I'm going to show you guys the most touristic attractions in Seville. I'll take you to some of the hidden places here in the city. All of these people are waiting in line to go see the Real Alcazar Gardens of Sevilla, which is our first stop. The Alcazar is one of the most monumental compounds in the city. The historical evolution of the city in the last millennium is held within its walls and gardens. The palace offers many surprises within the gardens and the waterworks. <laughs> we're not just here to show you the touristic places, but we're here to show you the hidden places. In fact, underneath this palace, this is the first hidden place, so just follow me. Here you can see the baths of Doña Maria Padilla, one of our favorite places in Seville. The name is pretty inappropriate because Doña Maria, she's the mistress of Pedro. She doesn't even own this bath, uh, but it's named after her. They're more like rainwater tanks storing the water for the gardens, but the long vaulted chambers and the light on the water make this quite unique. Now we're on our way to a place that's called Italica. It's located 9 kilometers to the north of the city. You can go there by bus at Plaza de Armas for only 3 euros and it'll take 30 minutes. So, we're here. Italica is a well-preserved Roman city and the birthplace of three Roman emperors. You can even see all the Roman remains. In the 2nd and the 3rd century, this was very important for the military. Throughout the Middle Ages, the ruins were used as a source of stone for Seville. So, I brought you here because one of the most popular TV series is recorded here. Do you see this amphitheater? This incredible amphitheater is used in Game of Thrones. Well, it's only used in season 7, so obviously you wouldn't know. But now you're one of the few people who knows. Fortunately, the amphitheater has survived, although these days it's falling apart. Right now we're at the Torre del Oro, one of the most famous sites of Seville. But as promised, we won't show you the touristy places, but the hidden places instead. The Silver Tower, or in Spanish the Torre de la Plata, is just five minutes away, and that's where we'll go now. Not many people know, but the Golden Tower has a sister, the Silver Tower. It was built in the 12th century, and it was used as a military fortress. So now we're at one of the most important places in Sevilla, the Cathedral of Seville. This beautiful cathedral is located in the city center of Seville and it's the largest Gothic cathedral in the whole world. Before coming to Seville, not many people know that this is a city where you can find the tomb of Christopher Columbus. Well, Columbus died in 1506 in a small city of Spain, Valladolid. This tomb has already moved several times to Dominican Republic and Havana and Cuba until it was finally installed here. So locals like to joke that there's 300 grams of Christopher Columbus lying in this tomb. It's the same as one package of chorizo. 
I hope you enjoyed our first video. Next week we're going to show you the opposite, the touristic places. See you!